Hey folks, welcome to Testing Hacks API series. And uh, in this tutorial, let's see how do we do data driven testing using Postman. We can also send, you know, data through either CSV format or through JSON format. Okay, let's understand that in this video. Let's begin. So in the previous video, we learned how to write the tests. Correct. So in this video, what we will do is we will be parameterizing these values and we will accept this from the CSV and JSON file. First, we will uh, see how does this file look. So here I have written a, a CSV file. Okay, this is a CSV file. So what should happen is here the name whatever we have taken the name and then the job and these values should match. So what should happen now is the name should match with that particular name and the job should match with the body name whatever we have written. So these names should be similar to whatever we have uh, we are sending it in the JSON form. Okay. And here are the values we are we can send multiple data through this and we can run this multiple iteration through one hit. Okay. So what we can do is now instead of writing this value we will remove this and then within double quotes we will write name so this should have proper mapping with whatever we have written in the file this with the file okay and here instead of that i'm i'll write job okay so now after doing this we will go to something called under test collection click on this and we have a run collection in the previous video also we have seen how to run this collection right so now click on this run collection and right now i'll be running the post request okay let me remove these two and select only whichever one i want okay and what can i do is here we have option run manually or else you can also schedule it and also you can automate runs via CLI. Okay. So let us run manually this time in the file. We have two data so we can run it two times. So there are two iterations that we want to mention here and uh, there is a delay which uh, after running one particular uh, data, right? One particular request and after how much delay? you want to run the another request so we will say the delay of three seconds okay and we will select this data file so let's select this a csv file and then let's see this preview is very much important because this mapping should be proper otherwise we will get an error and we should will not be able to hit the request we will get an error so make sure that this is properly been aligned okay and then now hit the request run this test collection now we can see that uh, even this test also got run and then we can see that this is anyway in the last tutorial itself we had written it for the fail case so if you click on the past it will show whichever is passed and then it will uh, show there are two iterations right for each of the iteration it has given the result for the first iteration this is what the result is and for the second iteration this is what the result is so all this we can see as part of this test run collection so this is one way and also you can run the collection also again okay and if you run it again it will again hit the uh, same request and then we will get the response okay you can see there are two iteration how many uh, seconds it took and what is the average response time all this will be considered and also the test will also uh, you know run it uh, run this okay so we have another way right so if i go back to the test collection let's close this and i will open this uh, test collection again in the same way we have another option here so let's run three iterations because i will show you how it how how the data is looking like in the csv format okay so if i go here if i click on the data json so this is how it looks like it should be enclosed in an array form and then i'm sending multiple data and the name and the job name job in, in the same way i'm sending three different set of data here 
okay so what i'll do is i'll go here and then i'll select uh, this json file from here okay it says that undetermined right it's saying that it is undetermined so if it is not identified the json format you just go and click the application.json application or json and let's preview this and the data looks proper now let's run this request and see yes you can see that it has run three times three iterations has been run and then all the data has been i mean all the tests are also um, visible now okay nine are passed and then three got failed and then if any skipped test case are there it will also be uh, you know displayed here so all this we can see as part of this test run collection and also we saw in this video how can we uh, you know perform the data driven testing using the postman so this is all for this video if you have liked this video please do like share and don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye